I'm Tess Latecki, the Project Archives Assistant at RC, and in this second tutorial video for RC's new Conservation Archives website, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how the site was created, give you some more information on the collections available, and let you know what we have planned next. With funding from the National Endowment for the Humanities, this site was created to give the public free and open access to RC's Conservation Archives. It was developed in partnership with UCLA Library and designed by Notch 8, who are based out of San Diego, California. And if the site looks kind of familiar to you, that's because it is modeled after the front end of our main site, rc.org. So our goal with the Conservation Archives website was to create something that was really user-friendly, easy to navigate, and gives a wealth of metadata information for each and every one of our records. This makes it a really useful resource for researchers, academics, students, or Egypt cultural heritage enthusiasts in general. In the first phase of the project, we published five conservation projects called collections. Two of them were already published through UCLA Library's International Digital Ephemera Project. That was the Tomb of Anen, a New Kingdom tomb on Luxor's West Bank, and the Roman wall paintings in Luxor Temple. Three more collections were published through the NEH-funded project, the conservation of Oslo Masalatar, a Mamluk Aram mosque in historic Cairo, the funerary monument of King Hafehemwi, who was the last king of the second dynasty at Abydos, and the Red Monastery, which is a Coptic site in Sohag in central Egypt. You can read more about each of these collections by going to the About Us drop-down tab, About Us and Our Collections, and then going to Our Collections. These projects were chosen because they show the diversity of RC's archival collection, both in terms of geography and historical periods. The five published collections contain a total of 7,583 records, which are mostly photographs. And we are very excited to announce that we have secured additional support from the US Department of Education and plan to publish another 13 collections over the next four years for a total of 18 collections and over 50,000 records. The work is ongoing, so keep an eye on RC's social media pages and you can also check out updates in our About Us and Our Collections page.